Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 29th of 2023. Well, it is titled a partial lunar eclipse. So what do we see here? Well, here we see two images of the moon. And we're actually looking at uh, the same image of the moon. But we're looking at it with slightly different exposures. And this is during a lunar eclipse and in fact a partial lunar eclipse, meaning that not the entirety of the moon passed into Earth's shadow. And in this case, just a small portion of it did. And you can see that small portion down to the lower left, sorry, to the lower right side in both of these images. Now in the image on the left, the moon surface is vastly overexposed, allowing you to see the detail of the portion of the moon that is within Earth's shadow. On the right hand side, the image is taken to expose the main surface of the moon, the rest of the surface. And in that case, you can see the shadow on the lower portion of the moon. So adjusting an image like this is just for what do you want to be able to see? If you want to see that little portion in the eclipse that and still be able to see the features there, that's the one on the left. If you want to see the rest of the moon, that's the image on the right. Now, a lunar eclipse can occur only at the full moon. That is when the moon is opposite in the sky to the sun and has the possibility to pass through Earth's shadow. However, while we do get a full moon every month, we do not get a lunar eclipse every month. And that's because the moon's orbit is tilted about five degrees relative to Earth's orbit around the sun. And that means that most of the time, the moon would pass well above or well below Earth's shadow and would not go into it. Here we see a chance where it just barely got part of that shadow. So we're at the very end of the eclipse season right now. And there will not be any further eclipses for nearly six months because the eclipse season will occur about six, about every six months when the sun, earth and moon all are in a line and eclipses, whether they be lunar eclipses like this one or solar eclipses can actually occur. You have to have everything lined up at what we call a node of the orbit in order to be able to see an eclipse. So while we just had a couple of eclipses, including this one, and a couple weeks ago, the annular solar eclipse that was visible, we now have to wait six months. So no eclipses will occur for about six months. And in fact, we will see an eclipse on April 8th of this coming year, which will be a total solar, which will be a total solar eclipse and will be visible from parts of North America. So that's one that will be coming up in just about six months. So that was our picture of the day for October 29th of 2023. It was titled a partial lunar eclipse. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be a devil on Mars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.